The McKinney Lions may be playing, uh, flying under the radar this year, but it's not because of their leading scorer. This week's bobblehead winner was front and center for the Lions' big win over Plano West last Friday. McKinney senior guard E.J. Clark is what they call a stat sheet filler. Averaging just under 30 points a game, Clark is the main cog in the Lions' offense. Friday night, McKinney was looking for an upset win against Plato West to secure a playoff spot, and Clark stepped up yet again, scoring 28 points and helping turn a tie game at halftime into a 14-point win for the Lions. For his efforts, E.J. Clark is our MVP bobblehead winner. Ah, uh, yes, and E.J. joins us now with his coach, Wes Watson. Welcome to the studio, guys. All right, E.J., here's the bobblehead. What do you think, Thanks. man? Oh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Okay. Believe it like I'm jealous of the beard. I don't think I can grow a beard like that, and I'm 32 <laughs> years old almost. All right. I wanted to talk to you about that Plano West win. All right. You had a big game and a big moment. That helped you guys get bumped up to that third seed in district. How much did it mean to you to have such a good game in a big moment for, for your team and what obviously was a very important day for you guys? Oh, yeah, it felt really good. You know, we just stuck to um, the plan that we had for the coaches, and um, we just played through that. Yeah, so, Coach, EJ averaging 30 points a game. All right, sometimes I, you, might, you might take it for granted, I think, if you're watching it over and over again. <laughs> What's it like for you knowing that you have a guy that can create some instant offense like that, especially when you're in a moment where maybe your team needs a little injection, you know, to get some help? It feels pretty good. I mean, he's a guy that can go get it for you. And uh, it, it, it takes a, a lot of the scheming away because when you've got a guy that can go score it and score it in a variety of ways like he's been able to do for four years. EJ, I, I, the other team knows that it's coming. So, I mean, you're getting double teams, I know, and you're getting a lot of attention. How are you finding a way to still get your points, still get your shots, and get your teammates involved as well? How do you balance all of that? Well, you know, I try to play within the offense, and when I get in my zone, I feel like nobody can stop me. Do you notice that too, Coach? I mean, do you see when he gets in that zone, he maybe has a little look in his eye where it's like, okay, this is about to be something special we're about yeah, to watch. Yeah, you know, and he does. He does a really good job staying within what we like to do. Uh, and, and really doesn't take bad shots. And but when he gets it going, it's a pretty good feeling over there on the sideline. <laughs> <'Cause> uh, <laughs> he he can make up for a lack of coaching some nights, you know. So. <laughs> no question. Hey, I want to ask you real quick about recruiting. I know you're getting some looks from some D1 schools. What's the update there for you with recruiting? Oh yeah, well, I mean, there's new colleges call, calling me every day. But I mean, it's mainly D1s and JUCOs. All right. So if you're averaging 30 points a game, and, and people know it's coming. These colleges need to get this man a look, all right? So I appreciate you coming in studio. Congratulations on being our bobblehead winner. Coach, thank you for coming thank in studio. So Good luck in the postseason next week against Flower Mound.